The port of Dover declared a critical incident here last night because of lengthy delays. Delays that are continuing. Over the last 24, 48 hours, people trying to get away for their Easter holidays, I would urge them to check their travel plans if they're about to set off to Dover, but that the situation is improving. Uh, there's been a, an acute level of pressure put on the ferry companies and the coach companies, a 35% increase in bookings. For every passenger going uh, into the European Union, the passports need to be swiped and then they need to be stamped. In a car load of say four people, that will take a little while. But in a coach where you might have 60, maybe sometimes up to 80 people on some of the bigger ones, that's just going to take a long time. It's obviously always a busy time of year. This has happened before. It happened last year. And many people will be saying, why on earth has the government let the same situation recur? Why hasn't there been the planning that they did to go in to make sure we're not back in the situation we were a year ago? Uh, but the government's in close contact with the uh, uh, port authorities and the local resilience forum to ensure that we start getting people crossing the channel quickly. Uh, 13 hours. 13 hours. Yeah, we're a school party heading to Austria. We're, we're, we're due to leave at four in the morning, I think. It's that long ago, I've forgotten, but it's yeah. about four o'clock. But the centre is about 12 miles away, and we were there for 12 hours. It's taken us an hour to get back to here, so, yeah interesting journey. You, you talk about the increase uh, in people trying to make the journey but of course it's a busy time of year and um, the CEO of Dover Port has said the difference of living in a post-Brexit environment means that every passport needs to be checked. Do we need to, after Brexit, just get used to this happening at busy periods? No, I don't think that's fair to say this has been, uh, you know, an adverse effect of Brexit. Um, we have asked to have our passports minutely examined um, and to have them stamped. As a result of that, checks take longer. If you've got 50 um, university students or school kids on a coach, that's going to take a lot of time. But what I would say is that acute times when there's a lot of pressure uh, crossing the channel, whether that's uh, uh, on the, uh, the tunnel or on ferries, then I think that there's always going to be a backup. Am I dreaming? No. Where am I? And I just urge everybody to be a bit patient while the ferry companies work their way through the backlog. Not because of Brexit, but because of Brussels bureaucracy yeah. and...